guys, my name is Gerard James Girl and welcome to a walkthrough of the two and a half Sims quest in Sims Free Play. This quest is available from level 8 and it unlocks babies to us. Very, very exciting. There is a time limit on this quest of two days and the prize for completing it within the two days is a baby decoration pack where you get some wallpaper, some floors and a mobile. It is part of the main series of quests within Sims Free Play, so as soon as you are able to complete it, you will get this pop-up that says, New quest available, two and a half Sims. Complete the quest and unleash an all-new generation of bubble burping, nappy-wearing infants. This is the start of something big. So this is pretty exciting. We are getting babies into our town. If you have not seen any of the videos within this series, this is, as well as going through all the... Uh, quests we are also making this is your series and all the sims are named after you so if you have got a suggestion for a sim name we are more looking for males at the moment i say this every video at the moment but i've got a lot of female names if you have got a suggestion for male names down below in the comments and how you would like them to look and also comment how you would like their relationships to be with the other sims that we've already got and also, of course, baby names. We need boy and girl baby names suggested down below. But let's get started with this quest. The first thing we need to do is to be nice to a sim. One of your newlyweds is thinking about bringing a new sim into the world. This is serious stuff. Get your married sims to be nice to one another so they can discuss having a baby. So, of course, in the last episode, it was Lovers in the Air, and we got Chloe and Tony married. So, they are going to be our sims that are going to have a baby this time. We've got the little wedding arbor set up from their wedding. Oh, they look very tired from the wedding. So, we just need to click on the other sim, and we need to be nice for one minute. I think I'll probably put away all this wedding stuff. Now the wedding is over, actually. Let's, let's get rid of all the wedding stuff. They have finished being nice to each other. Now the next thing is to expand or create a room. Your sims have decided to have a baby together. This is great news. Hmm, they're going to need more space in their house. Expand or create a room. So obviously you can do this however you would like, I think. I may add on, hmm, I may add on a little nursery room. The cheapest way to do it will be just to expand a room slightly. Obviously just go into your home store, into the room section. I may actually just, yeah, I may just expand their bedroom one out for now. That only costs 245 simoleons. Simoleons are a struggle at the moment, so as cheap as possible. Now we need to spend 450 simoleons on wallpaper and flooring. Spruce it up for the baby with some new wallpaper and floors. Pick something colourful, spend 450 on wallpaper and floors. So again, with this, however you want to do this, if you've built an added room on, then you can do that you can decorate that room for the baby or you can just use what you've got just go into the home store go into the floors and go into the wallpaper i think i am actually gonna, yeah i'm gonna add another room this makes sense it's like a little little tiny corridor room for the baby this is gonna be the baby's little nursery area we'll stick a door on there and we'll decorate this room with some wallpaper and some floor making sure that we spend 450 Okay, baby's room didn't quite do it, so let's just change some stuff in the lounge area. Hopefully that will make it... Yes, there we go. Spend 450 on wallpaper and flooring. Complete. Now we need to read Better Farms and Cradles magazine. So how much do your sims really know about being parents? Have a sim read the Better Farms and Cradles magazine to brush up on their knowledge. Note, to read a magazine, you must first buy a stack of magazines from the living room section of the home store. So, let's go into the home store and into the living room section and find the magazines. There, they have 600 simoleons, I think they were, and they need to be placed on a table as well, so they won't go onto the floor. Let's just move this wardrobe back in a bit of a stupid position. And then click on the uh, magazine rack on the table there and better farms and cradles is nine minutes over on the left we have finished reading the better farms and cradles magazine now have a double shot of coffee better get back to baby planning wake up with a double shot of coffee 
So go to the espresso machine. I think this is just a one star. Yeah, it is. And expect oh no, a double shot, sorry, is one minute. I'm gonna get Tony doing the cooking hobby because I am working on that with all of my spare sims at the moment. It's a great way to get LPs by completing the cooking hobby over and over and over again. So that's what I'm doing. Well, that's what I'm trying to do at least. <laughs> She's finished having a double shot of coffee. Now I need to watch Dr. Cox on TV. There's a new show on TV called Dr. Cox that describes the complex politics that goes on between babies and parents. Have a sim, watch it on TV. So let's go ahead and click on the telly and watch Dr. Cox is 20 minutes there. That's just a one star telly, so we can do that quicker. We'll get Tony to join in as well. He needs to watch it as well. He's gonna be the dad. That does not look like Dr. Cox to me. That looks like some sort of <laughs> video game. But okay, we'll leave them watching Dr. Cotts there. Dr. Cotts has finished on the TV. Now we need to build the children's store. Hooray! Your Sims are now ready to have a baby. Hang on, where are you going to put your baby? You need a crib. Build the children's store on the town map. So let's head out onto the town map. So the children's store is kind of just by the park, really, just down a little bit. And it's going to take one hour, 15 minutes. It's going to cost a thousand and I need four sims. That could be different for you depending on how many buildings you already have in your town. When the children's store is complete, you will get a little pop-up to let you know that you can go out onto the town map and complete it. So let's head out there now. And this is the children's store. Let's just click on it. And oh, town is now worth 58,000. Task complete on the baby store. Now we need to buy a crib. Look at that impressive range of fancy cribs. Head down to the children's store on the town map and purchase one of their cribs. So we can now just click on the children's store and you can see there are various different children's items. There are a few different cribs. You can get um, only one that is a simoleon one and the rest are LPs. And then there's various different items there, rocking chair, nursery chest, things like that. I'm going to go for the white crib because I don't want to spend any LPs but by all means you choose whichever you want for 2000 and then that you purchase that there and then that goes into your infantry. You have to go over to the house to place it down but we don't need to do that yet we just need to have bought it. Now we need to add the baby. It's time to bring your first baby into the world. To add a baby, place a crib in a married couple's home and then tap the add sim button above the crib. The stork will take care of the rest. Note, your new crib can be found in your infantry access via the home store. Yeah, so let's go over to a married couple's home. Now remember you have to place this in a married couple's home. It won't work. For some reason in The Sims 3 Play, they won't let us have babies unless we're married. They just won't let us. So we need to go into the infantry and then go into the baby section, the infant section, and find the crib that you can just place down there. And then once you have placed it down, You've got this icon above it that's a plus sim, it's like an add a sim. Click on there and you add a baby. It takes one whole day to add a baby. The first one is free, but they're not free from here on in. But first one's free and they take 24 hours. So we'll just leave that baby there cooking away and we will be back when he, she is ready. Our baby is now ready and... I asked you guys on the community tab in on YouTube here for baby names and oh my goodness I got so so many baby names thank you to everyone who commented and suggested a baby name what you need to do is to click on you can see the icon is now green you just need to go ahead and click on that baby icon and it will take you into the create a sim menu for our baby but yeah so many people so many so so many of you commented with baby names I have so many but I have chosen one from Stephanie Hobbs thank you Stephanie she gave a few names actually she has these sims in her town and their surname is Walker and this baby name this baby surname is going to be Walker so I thought that would be quite cool we would have the same sim name and the one I have gone for the one I've chosen is Joshua so this baby is going to be called Joshua Walker but thank you everyone else who commented I am still gonna I'm gonna refer back to those when I am naming new babies I think quite a few other people possibly commented with Joshua as well Joseph was a popular one as well maybe I'll save Joseph for 
the next baby boy that we have. But comment down below with baby girl names as well now because we will probably have a baby girl coming pretty soon. Here is our little baby Joshua and you can kind of style him a little bit in here. Let's add <laughs> Joshua Walker to the town. Our first brand new little baby. He's going to be so cute. And that's task complete. And also, that is quest complete. You can see down at the bottom, we are 100% done. Congratulations, you completed the two and a half Sims quest. Thank to, thanks to you, all married couples are now able to have their own babies. Simply buy a crib, add a baby, and voila! New items may now be purchased from the infant section of the home store or because we've completed in the time period. With the baby decoration pack, you can deck out your baby room with all new wallpapers, floors, and a special baby mobile to hang on the ceiling. So we will check that out in a second. The next quest that becomes available to us now is the Ocean View Estate quest. And this is where we are going to unlock premium lots in on Simtown, which is pretty cool. It gives us like larger plots in which to build on, and they are like huge. I really, really like, um, really enjoy building on them. So that's make sure you stay tuned for the next episode where we will go through that quest. So let's check out the prizes. So we got access to some wallpaper, some flooring, and a baby mobile by completing this within the time limit. So if we go into our home store. And into, where do we need to go? Furniture, let's go to furniture first. You see we have this new little baby tab and we've got all of these nice things that we can now place for the babies. Loads of little bits of furniture. We have the cute little mobile here and the first one is free to buy. And then after you've placed the first one, they cost 2,500 simoleons to place any more. And then let's go into the, let's do flooring first. We've got three floors and three wallpapers. By completing this in time, we've got this hot pink carpet, blue star carpet, and lucky carpet. We can go ahead and put them all down. And then if we go into the wallpaper section as well, we got the wallpapers that actually match. So we got the misty forest wallpaper which kind of goes with the star flooring. Of course, you can place them with any you want. We've got the space rockets and we've got the horse brown. Let's take a closer look. So it's kind of difficult to see the wallpaper, but I actually really like the horse one. I never really use it, to be honest, but I really like that. It, yeah, I like that a lot. The rocket one is pretty awesome. That's really cool. And to be honest, the Misty Forest one as well, that Misty Forest wallpaper is really, really nice and the floorings are awesome. So now you can go ahead and place those in your child's room and also place in any room. Obviously, it doesn't just have to be in your child's room. We should probably change Joshua's wallpaper and stuff, should we, for some of the prizes that we got? I think that we should. I think that we should give him space rockets. I think he will be a fan. Of the whole Space Rockets theme, let's put the floor down as well. The Blue Star Carpet. There we go. And then actually, what else can we get in the baby section at the moment? We can't really get much. We will get more for the babies as we continue playing the game. But he's got his mobile. He's got his crib, obviously. Let's put a nursery chest in here. There we go. There is Joshua's little bedroom. Just off mum and dad's bedroom there. Very handy, they can get into him every night when he is screaming to be uh, to be fed or whatever he may need in the middle of the night. But that is the end of this video. I hope this walkthrough tutorial has helped you out. Remember to keep on commenting down below with some sim names and how you would like our sims to start interacting with each other, what relationships you would like them to have. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new to the channel, I post loads of Sims stuff, <laughs> Sims related content. Yeah.